Hey everyone. So I was debating on actually recording this or not. Uh, I really don't want to be responsible if you break your device. Um, but it can be a little bit scary updating your BIOS. Uh, so this is my 8750. I've updated the BIOS once. I, it had like the 9.9 but, uh, build on it. Then I went to 9.29. And now I'm going to go to the 10.18 I believe. Even though it says 10.25 up here. Um... So this is the batch file that runs, and basically the important bit that runs is right here. If you can see that. You can run that in a command line if you want to. You don't need to run this batch file. But you can run the batch file if you want. I prefer to extract all of the contents of the file directly to the C directory. So it's C and then this Windows directory. So the important thing when you run this bat is you're going to want to run as administrator. Uh, and the important thing right here is to make sure that all of this actually completes. You're going to have to pay attention to it. Don't just look at the whole pass file. It's important that you pay attention to this stuff. You got to make sure all of it says 100% complete. Um, because you might get the pass. Just don't, don't depend on the pass thing to be 100% accurate. Sometimes the direct, well, the directions from GPD says to, to run it twice. If there is an error when you are running this, you can run it again. Don't reboot your machine if there is an error here. If it there is an error anywhere in here, you have to run it again. Make sure all of them say 100% complete. Once they all say 100% complete, you can go ahead and reboot it. And when you reboot it, it takes forever and you might get a heart attack because you think you just bricked your device. But it takes like two or three minutes for it to uh, basically come back on. And I'll show you that whole process. Okay, so that's the important bit right there, that green F FPT operation pass. Don't pay attention to this, because if you can see it says there's this error part. So um, basically just, just pay, pay attention here. Okay, and that's it. So there we go, that's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and restart. Now you're gonna see the blue light on here remain on for a while and it can be a little bit scary so I'm not gonna fast forward or anything I'm not gonna do anything I figure we can like see how this operates so there's not gonna be any time change for me so just kinda hang out with me and enjoy my sultry voice apologies and a fill empty air. Hopefully my kids don't scream in the background. There it goes. Notice I didn't touch the power button. Don't touch the power button. Don't do anything. Again, this is fine. This is normal. Might reboot again. Let it do this. Don't touch the power button. Don't do anything. Just let it do its stuff. Okay? It rebooted again. There we go. And you can see this 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 time it's probably gonna be good. So again, it does some really crazy things. Yeah, we're booting into Windows now. So that's how you're gonna update your BIOS. Again, make sure everything completes 100 percent and then don't touch anything. Don't touch the power button. Don't do squat. It may look like it's not working, it may look like it's broken. Don't touch anything very important. So let's go ahead and we'll, as soon as this loads up, we'll uh, reboot and we'll take a look at the BIOS. I'm also going to install Linux on this. Someone on Reddit uh, gave a few lines to enter in either kernel or the uh, rub bootloader. I really didn't pay attention, but I'll take a look at his directions and I'll see if I can't get Zubuntu on it. Is my machine going to load? There it is. All right, so let's go ahead and reboot again. Again, don't force shut down. Don't do anything. Just give it some time. Make sure your battery is fully charged before you do your BIOS update. So now we're going to go in. Now this is my 80, 8750. Uh, yeah, the 8750. 
So you can press delete as soon as that little thing comes up. And then if we pay attention right, where is it? You can see it, 1025. Actually, this is a slightly newer BIOS than my 8700. I have a 1018 build on my 8700. So this 1025 is now the newest one. So now I've seen four different BIOSes for this, the GPD win. Anyway, that's how you can update your BIOS. Uh, again, don't be scared. If you need to do it, go ahead and do it. If you don't feel you need to do it, don't do it. Basically, if you want to, I'm sure there's going to be some repository, some place like the wiki that someone set up for GPD win that's going to be keeping track of all the links for all the BIOSes and stuff. Basically, look on the community. Don't look in this video in the description field. I will try to keep updated links, but don't depend on this video to have updated links. Go search on the internet. This is just a how-to so that you're not scared and shows you what you need to expect. Thanks for watching.